Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating a notch filter, 60 hertz notch filter circuit. Uh, and we would simulate this particular example using the LT Spice tool. For more such videos on LT Spice or on KitKat tutorial, I request you to like, share, and subscribe to my channel below. Now, click on new schematic and uh, in this particular tutorial we require lm741 so search for lm741 and uh, select lm741 and place this on the schematic in order to rotate we will use ctrl e and ctrl r in order to mirror and in order to rotate this is used to make our design uh, easy and convenient so click on the resistor symbol and in this particular tutorial we require we require five resistor and uh, those five resistor has been placed and you can just move this particular resistor accordingly Uh, in this particular design we require two capacitor uh, which would be capacitor c1 and capacitor c2 so click on the capacitor and place the capacitor c1 uh, in between the resistor r2 and r4 and uh, r3 and r4 so now all the components has been placed uh, next we have to uh, place the voltage source so uh, before that uh, we uh, can also place the uh, label net now click on component and select the voltage source click ok and uh, place this particular voltage source v1 and v2 on the schematic window and also place this particular voltage source v3 on the schematic window next click on label net and uh, before that click on ground and place the ground connection on v1 v2 and v3 Click on wire and connect the resistor R1 to resistor R2 and from the resistor R2 uh, is connected to the capacitor C1 and from capacitor C1 it is connected to the resistor R4. The resistor R2 and R4 and C1 would be connected to the ground. Next we have to also connect the resistor R4 to capacitor C2 and from resistor R3 to capacitor C2 and from capacitor C1 uh, connect this between capacitor C2 and resistor R4 and from the terminal number 3 of LM741 to the capacitor C2. Now the resistor R3 is connected to resistor R1 and from the voltage source V3 to the resistor R1 which is the input for this particular circuit. Now now, now click on wire and uh, from resistor R2 uh, and R1 uh, draw a wire which is connecting to resistor number R5 and uh, from the negative terminal of uh, the LM741 that is pin number 2 connect to the resistor R5 and uh, from the resistor R5 it is connected to the output that is pin number 6 of LM741 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now extend the wire across the voltage source V1 and also extend the wire across the voltage source V2. 
now click escape now click on uh, the wire and extend the wire across the pin number 4 and pin number 7 of LM741 as shown in this particular tutorial now click on label net and uh, place the label net VCC and uh, place across the extended wire and also across the pin number 7 of LM741 click on label net and type VEE and place this particular label net VEE across the voltage V2 and the pin number 4 of LM741 now right click on voltage source and define the voltage source value as 9 and minus 9 volt and define the value as VCC and VEE for the voltage source similarly define the value as V in for the particular voltage source and click on advanced and select the sine wave in this select the DC offset as 0 and amplitude as 1 frequency as 1 kilohertz and AC amplitude as 1 since we have to do the uh, AC analysis or the frequency analysis so right click on resistor R1 define the value of resistor as 27 kilo ohm and similarly we have to define the resistor value R2 R3 and R4 as 27 kilo ohm now right click on the resistor R5 and define the value as 27 kilo ohm similarly right click on capacitor C1 and capacitor C2 and define the value as 0 0.1 microfarad and 0 0.1 microfarad as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to define the spice analysis for this particular circuit simulation so click on spice analysis click on AC analysis define the type of sweep as linear and the number of points as 20 start frequency as 0 0.1 and stop frequency as 10 kilohertz click ok and place this particular uh, spice analysis on the uh, schematic window now run this particular simulation and uh, place this probe across the uh, output of LM741 you can see the frequency analysis for this particular or the AC analysis for this particular simulation thank you for watching this tutorial I hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below